pour that in and try not to get the seed in there. So this is kind of little, little bit of spice. Little bit of spice. A little bit of spice. Hey foodies, welcome back to Food is Universal. I'm Sierra and today we're going to be recreating the very nice cocktail from Lombard Seafood and Grill. Lombard Seafood and Grill is a full service restaurant located in the San Francisco portion of Universal Studios. The Discover Universal blog was kind enough to share the recipe for this nice cocktail and we're just going to play around and have fun and recreate it and see how it tastes. So step one says to take a cocktail shaker um, and I brought this bar set specifically for this but I'm in no way a professional bartender so we're just going to have fun with this. If I mess up, oh well. Um, but step one says to take a cocktail shaker and put a handful of berries at the bottom and we're gonna muddle it. So we wanna muddle the berries to a consistency that is as liquidy as possible. I don't know if liquid is good, but you know what I mean. All right, so here's my finished product. That's what you want to write. So here's my finished product. I mean, it's not pretty, but I got it down to as much of a liquid consistency as possible um, because for the next few steps, we're gonna like incorporate all the liquids and shake it up and hopefully come out with a nice berry liquid. Step two, we're gonna add the vodka, the raspberry liqueur, and the fresh squeezed lemon juice. Um, not the lemonade, that's gonna come later. Um, so for the vodka, we're gonna do two shots of vodka. It's one and a half ounces. And the raspberry liqueur, we're gonna do 0.5. And even though we're working with a recipe, feel free to just kind of like play around with measurements. Like I'm not being 100% exact, um, but we're getting close to it. And then lastly, we're gonna do about 25 ounces of lemon juice. And the trick here is to not get any seeds in here. So we're gonna do our best. That's fine, because there's a strainer. To this, we're gonna add a small piece of ice. This is kind of like, um, I'll do about two. And then we're gonna shake it so everything's incorporated. Whoa, so, I don't know if the camera gets this, but because there's ice in it, it's like all frothy and cold now. Like it literally got like really cold to the touch. Again, not a bartender, that's kind of neat. So now we're on step three. Step three, we're gonna pour what we just sh shook up into a column glass full of ice. Don't worry if you don't have a column glass, any glass of ice will do. And then we're gonna top this mixture with the lemonade. Then we're gonna top this with the lemonade. And stir it to the mind. All right, in step four, we're gonna garnish with the last of our berries. And here's our drink. So step five says to sit on your porch and dream of the next time that you will be visiting Universal. We don't have a porch, so I'm just gonna try it here um, and let's see how it tastes. Not personally my uh, cocktail of choice. I am definitely more of a sweeter cocktail girl. 
um, but this is gonna be really good for folks that don't like a lot of like sweetness in their cocktails. Um, it's a very refreshing berry taste. The citrus really cuts through on a lot of the sweetness. So you're getting a lot of like the lemonade flavor in this. Um, and it is really essentially perfect for a nice hot summer day, whether you're at Universal or you're at home. So that's it for this video. Thanks for joining. If you try the recipe at home, let us know how it turns out in the comments. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe on this video. It really helps our channel. And remember, food is universal.